when we overwhelmingly this House voted to invoke the uh, Article 50 letter, we knew that the default position was that we would leave the European Union on the 29th of March with no deal. <coughs> my, my right honourable friend, the member for Surrey Heath, who opened this debate, uh, did so uh, giving his opening speech in his normal, enthusiastic and energetic manner, but his words will have struck horror into the hearts of the 17.4 million people who voted to leave and indeed to our activists and members uh, across the country. Um, in our manifesto it said that no deal is better than a bad deal and indeed it's, <laughs> the Prime Minister has said at that dispatch box on over a hundred occasions that we are leaving the European Union on the 29th of March with or without a deal. Where does that leave our democracy, Mr. Speaker, or belief in, in politics? Um, my right honourable friend, the member for Rushcliffe, spoke at length, as he is wont to do as father of the House, and I respect him for his consistent opinion with regard to the European Union. He spoke about three years ago, and it seems a long time ago almost, the, the referendum, but I remember well that, that he led the Remain campaign in the East Midlands, and I led the Leave campaign, and we debated. And we were on television, we were on the radio, we went out on the hustings. And at the end of the day, when the votes came in, and he is right, his seat voted to remain, but it was one of very few in the East Midlands that did. The result was 59 to 41 to leave the European Union in the East Midlands. And I'm very disappointed, as will be the people of the East Midlands, that my right honourable friend, the father of the House, treats that democratic decision by the East Midlands so badly that he would in invite us to revoke Article 50 and go against the will of the British people, something which this House decided we would give the decision to the people in a referendum.